President Joe Biden's reelection campaign will get a big boost tonight when he's joined in New York by former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. That's right. It should be a lucrative fundraiser. And as Julia Benbrook explains, it reflects the high powered help that Biden is receiving in his bid for reelection. Three U.S. presidents are uniting for a star-studded campaign event in Manhattan Thursday night. But it's hardly a routine meeting of the so-called President's Club. President Joe Biden is hoping for a campaign boost as he appears alongside former President Barack Obama and former President Bill Clinton. That's a lot of star power. Uh, I wish I had a ticket. I'm sure anyone in America would want to, to be at that event. It marks their first joint appearance on behalf of Biden this campaign cycle. The three Democrats are sitting down at Radio City Music Hall for a rare conversation moderated by Stephen Colbert. Uh, all three have... Uh, agree overwhelmingly on the issues that this president has been fighting for. This comes after aides confirmed that Obama will make several campaign appearances before November, hoping to prevent another Trump term. I think he can be a tremendous asset uh, in terms of reaching uh, not just uh, the average American, but obviously the Latinos, uh, the young people, uh, the minorities that are going to be critical to uh, to Joe Biden if he's going to win this election. Tickets for tonight's event range from $225 to $500,000. Biden's re-election campaign announced Thursday that this evening's event has already raised more than $25 million. Speaking of money, the Biden campaign has an edge when it comes to cash on hand. Biden ended February with $71 million in available cash in his principal campaign account. That's more than twice the $33.5 million in cash reserves held by the Trump campaign. Reporting in Washington, I'm Julia Benbrook. Well, we're told a bunch of celebrities are either attending that fundraiser or performing, including Queen Latifah, Lizzo, Mindy Kaling, and Ben Platt. All right, developing.